all I know it's moving forward. I didn't get the chance to watch uh, people's takes or videos on it, so I don't know the breakdown. So if we're going to talk about it, it'll be my first time seeing it. It's been a really, really busy week for me at work, so I didn't get to watch as many videos as I normally could. But I know it's moving forward. That's all I know. So, but but th that's big news, definitely. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Okay. All right. Uh oh. So wait, Kitty Pride is her her, is her real name. Shadow Cat is her is her it, it, mutant name. Yeah, that, oh, okay. That's that, that's what I thought too. It's just that I wasn't sure, so I didn't bring it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I, I always call her Kitty Pride. Sorry. The only thing that we're missing for Kitty Pride is she's supposed to have a dragon. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about this article right over here. It comes to us from that Park Plays. It says, Breaking Disney's motion to dismiss Gina, Car uh, Gina Carano's lawsuit has been denied, which is absolutely fantastic. I want to see Gina Carano completely destroy Disney. I want her to go scorch Earth, destroy them for being a piece of shit. And uh, yeah, right up here. In the court documents obtained by that Park Place U.S. District Judge Sherilyn Peace Garnett, has denied the request by Walt Disney Company to dismiss Gina Carano's lawsuit with Gina Carano and her lawyers against the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm's attempt to dismiss her case. According to the judge, I have set, uh, ha, uh, see, uh, Disney and Lucasfilm and Huckleberry have failed to set forth an impenetrable defense under the First Amendment and the court denies defendant's motion. Carano filed her lawsuit against the Walt Disney Company back in February with Suit detailing it is a civil action arising from defendant's wrongful termination of Carano's employment in re uh, sorry in retaliation for Carano's lawful exercise uh, of her right to speak and express her views. Specifically, defendants under the regime for former Disney CEO Bob Chapek fired Carano because of her posts. Uh, the posts on various uh, social media platforms, including X, formerly known as, as Twitter, Carano composed, the, published the posts while she was off duty and away from workplace. The suit also alleged the uh, defendants terminated Carano's employment and took other retaliatory actions to limit and deny her future employment opportunities, including but not limited to, to making maliciously false statements but Carano with the intention of damaging her reputation and thus her ability to find and retain work. It also stated defendant uh, treated Carano differently than her similarly situated male co-workers who likewise expressed their personal political views on social media, but upon information and belief were not counseled or disciplined, let alone terminated. So I believe... Um, I according to what I heard, I believe this is some uh, Jay. I watched this video. He said that the reason, one reason why they uh, they wanted to like not do this lawsuit is because it will sort of impede on the Mandalorian's success. <laughs> what do you think mm -hmm. about that? Wait, wait, wait. That was that that was their, that was one of their reasons for trying to get this case thrown out is because they said that this lawsuit will mm -hmm. impede on Disney and Star Wars ability to uh, make the Mandalorian great or some yeah, bullshit that, like that. What do you think yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, that's stupid, man. It's like, is it... I just watched a video. I didn't finish it yet from WDW Pro. I just found out earlier this morning that apparently there's no more season four of Mandalorian, just a standalone movie. Am I right with that? Or am I wrong? I know that there's supposed to be a Grogu and Mando movie. Yeah, yeah, that that right? was the sure thing, but I didn't know that season four is canceled already or no more mm. because of that. That mm. that I'm not sure. Chat can correct me on that, but that's what well, that, that was what was implied with the latest video of WDW Pro. But yeah, yeah if given that, right, you, you can't reason out that it's going to impede on the success of Mandalorian if you're just going to make a movie. So, yeah, not a valid reason at all. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, right over here, it says the lawsuit specifically accused the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm of wrongful discharge, wrongful discharge and refusal to hire and sex discrimination. Yeah. The sex, the, the thing is that Mark Hamill, Mark Ruffalo, and this is all under Disney, right? And then Pedro Pascal all came out, said 
horrible, horrible things about Republicans, say horrible things comparing them to Nazis from Germany, saying crazy things comparing them, comparing Trump to Hitler, or saying how he's worse than Hitler, and none of them got reprimanded in any way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and more recently, right? Uh, Jack Black. Yeah, that's right? true. And the fact that Jack Black and uh, Kyle Gass came out and gave a fake apology. What happened a couple of days later? They deleted their apology from Instagram. What? Well, there it is, right? So Carano is asking for preliminary and permanent injunctive relief requiring defendants to reinstate Carano to her prior position with no loss of pay or benefits. The judgment declaring that defendants' termination of Carano's employment was unlawful and in violation of California law and compensatory compensatory damages, including but not limited to the loss of pay from the date of termination to the date of reinstatement in an amount to be terminated at trial exceed but exceeding 75,000 compensatory damages for loss of future employment, including but not limited to the role of rangers of the New Republic. Now, here's the thing. I want them to say that, all right, we are going to give you your show. And I want her to say, fuck you guys. No, because I know what you guys are going to do. They're going to bring her in and they're going to immediately kill off her character. Yeah. I think that's just what's going to happen. Let's see. Uh, emotional distress damages in an amount to be determined at trial. Punitive damages in an amount to be determined at trial. Response to reasonable attorneys, fees, costs, and such other in future. Uh, sorry, further relief as the court may deem just and proper. So if you actually go to her, I'm going to bring this up right over here. The court denies the defendants in the motion. And this is right over here. This is the actual thing. Uh, I'm going to bring this up so we can zoom in. It says, in sum, defendants have failed to set forth an impenetrable defense under the First Amendment. Uh, Dern Ford, uh, 907, F3D uh, at uh, 604, and uh, N.8, citation omitted accordingly for the foregoing reasons. The court denies the defendant's motion. It is so ordered. And it's a sign. And basically, I... I want her to make them feel the pain that she's went through, right? And this has been a long time coming, right? It happened when she she posted that comparison uh, saying that you don't want to treat the people who disagree with you like what they did in, um, in uh, what's it called again, uh, in, in Germany. And yep. that's one thing. And, and basically saying that, wait, wait, you're, you're saying that you're, she, they're Nazis? And so, no, she didn't even say, she didn't compare them to Nazis. She's all, and Republicans to Nazis. She said that you just don't want to treat your, your neighbors differently. Furthermore, she was, they wanted to force her to do an apology and basically admit that she is wrong and saying it to, uh, in a Zoom call with like 50 other people. And then because she also said beep, bop, boop, right? All these things are insane, right? And I want, I want this to, I, I want Disney to basically like get screwed over this, right? Let's see. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see. Uh, Disney held, sorry, Disney continued as in the court further held by Boy Scouts of, uh, of America v. Dale, 503 U.S. 640, that the principle means that the state cannot force an employer engage in, speak, uh, in speech to speak through the employee whose own views or public profiles could compromise the employer's own message, even if the employee does not express. Because they're trying to use that as an example, saying that since you are working for the company, you represent the company. Right. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that that like that applies to her? Uh, it that's that's a pretty uh gray area in my opinion. It, it depends on what you did on what you said, but for her case, it does not. Well, uh, well, it's because they their interpretation or at least their they they skewed it in such a way that it's somehow offensive even though her like underlying intent was not it was actually something good yeah so in that case the company was uh behaving maliciously so yeah it their reasoning doesn't apply to this situation yeah so no 
Yeah, and the thing is, it's not like she is like dressed in Cara Dune outfit, and she's like at, at, at a signing representing Disney. She's doing it at her own personal account without without saying anything. And this falls under the First Amendment here in the U.S. Freedom, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of religion. So she can say anything is because it's under the First Amendment, and so that's the reason why she's using this, right? Disney's motion added the coup de, uh, coup de gras came in February 2021 when Carano admittedly reposted on Instagram post comparing the criticism of politically conservative viewpoints to the Holocaust in Nazi Germany, right? He basically said that you don't want to treat your neighbors like what they did in Nazi Germany. Basically, she didn't say that they're Republicans. They didn't say that they're Democrats, right? She could be talking about Democrats. You don't know. But the fact that they automatically just say, oh, she's comparing to the shit. She's saying bad stuff. Let's get rid of her, right? Yep. I see. It asks uh, Carano's decision to publicly trivialize the Holocaust by comparing criticism of political conservatives to the annihilation of millions of Jewish people, notably not thousands, was the final straw for Disney, as Carano alleges Lucasfilm that same day denounced her statements and observed that it had no plans to employ her in the future. The motion later stated that Disney had enough. The same day, Carano grotesquely trivialized the Holocaust as comparable to sharp political disagreements. Lucasfilm uh, announced that Gina Carano is not currently employed by Dis uh, sorry by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her in, uh, to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. And I believe one of the people who are making these claims that like she, I, I believe they are uh, that wanting her to apologize basically wrote something in, 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 in I forgot what contract, I believe Jay talked about this in some kind of like writing calling her a bigot, like bigoted Gina Carano Right. And then they have to go back and change the wording to that it's because it's not, it's like she had this, like, they're saying that misinformed or something like ill informed, which I, I hate these people who are like trying to feel like they're holier than thou, saying that they're better than you. And it's, it's this, this whole thing with Gina Carano. It's, I, like I said, Scorched Earth, she needs to, I, and I want it to be televised. Like I want this to be televised. Like I I want it, right? So this is this let's go ahead and read actually the actual Gina Carano statement right over here. The decor denies defendant's motion. I am moved to tears after a brutal three and a half years. I am given, I'm being given the opportunity to move forward in the court of law before the judge of my peer, uh yeah, George uh, judge and my peers. Uh, to clear my name. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. What happened to me was unacceptable, absurd, and abusive, among other things. It should not have happened to me, and it should not happen to any uh, anyone else moving forward. Let it be stopped here. Uh, I quite literally fought to get to where I got to in my career through the intense ups and downs, and I'll keep up that fight to continue doing what I love. I appreciate all of you who have stood by me and defended me. And I am so sorry that similar situations have happened to some of you. I want you to know that I see you and I stand with you. And we do know a person who is sort of embroiled in something not as crazy, but very similar, which is Carolyn, right? Thank you to Elon Musk, a man that I have never met, who also graciously gave me a fighting chance. Thank you for standing for justice for all of humanity. May God bless you and your family for years to come because he has chosen you for such a time as this. Below is an interview I did with Ben Shapiro three and a half years ago, February 2021. At my lowest point, I was wounded and in so much pain, but I feel that pain lifting now. I pray for justice to shine through in this case. It's been one heck of a life. I am looking forward to getting back to the art of storytelling and doing my part to help the world heal. Thank you all. And I'm sure it will be quite a battle ahead, but God's given me the ability to take some punches and give some back. My feet are on solid ground. Imagine what your voice can do. So yeah, man, overall, I think that the people have, the, the people have her back, especially uh, like, Every, like a lot of people online have her back. Of course, I see some people online her saying otherwise, but there's a lot of people on her side fighting for her, fighting for her freedom of speech. I don't care what side you're on, right? If you're on the left and someone, 
you're in a right leaning company and they fire you for what you say, like I want them to have the freedom of speech to fight for that too. But what are your takes on this entire thing so far? Yeah, uh, basically in a nutshell, it's a win. When, when is it going to be, when is it going to court? I mean, when are they going to deliberate on this? I'm not sure. Case? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there's an actual okay. like full on like article or some kind of thing that uh, someone posted online maybe. But uh, I, as of right now, I'm not sure. Unless a chat knows. But as of right now, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I hope she wins and Disney finally gets, you know, the backlash it deserves. Like, finally, like, after all these years of craziness in their company and how their hiring practices and how they treat their more conservative employees. Fi finally, it's starting to, you know, karma started finally to take, um, do does its job or doing its work to... A company that deserves it I, yeah. I can't really say much anything else apart from that thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg Row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time